Boston is the capital and most populous city of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts in the United States. The city proper covers 48 square miles, 124 square kilometers, with an estimated population of 694,583 in 2018, making it also the most populous city in New England. Boston is the seat of Suffolk County as well, although the county government was disbanded on July 1, 1999. The city is the economic and cultural anchor of a substantially larger metropolitan area known as Greater Boston, a Metropolitan Statistical Area MSA, home to a census estimated 4.8 million people in 2016 and ranking as the 10th largest such area in the country. As a combined statistical area CSA, this wider commuting region is home to some 8.2 million people, making it the sixth most populous in the United States. Boston is one of the oldest cities in the United States, founded on the Shaw Mutt Peninsula in 1630 by Puritan settlers from England. It was the scene of several key events of the American Revolution, such as the Boston Massacre, the Boston Tea Party, the Battle of Bunker Hill, and the Siege of Boston. Upon gaining U.S. independence from Great Britain, it continued to be an important port and manufacturing hub as well as a center for education and culture. The city has expanded beyond the original peninsula through land reclamation and municipal annexation. Its rich history attracts many tourists, with Fanel Hall alone drawing more than 20 million visitors per year. Boston's many firsts include the United States' first public park, Boston Common, 1634, first public or state school, Boston Latin School, 1635, and first subway system, Tremont Street Subway, 1897. Today, Boston is a thriving port city. The Boston area's many colleges and universities make it an international center of higher education, including law, medicine, engineering, and business, and the city is considered to be a world leader in innovation and entrepreneurship, with nearly 2,000 startups. Boston's economic base also includes finance, professional and business services, biotechnology, information technology, and government activities. Households in the city claim the highest average rate of philanthropy in the United States. Businesses and institutions rank among the top in the country for environmental sustainability and investment. The city has one of the highest costs of living in the United States as it has undergone gentrification, though it remains high on world livability rankings. Topic: History Colonial Boston's early European settlers had first called the area Trim Mountain after its three mountains, only traces of which remain today, but later renamed it Boston after Boston, Lincolnshire, England, the origin of several prominent colonists. The renaming on September 7, 1630, Old Style, was by Puritan colonists from England who had moved over from Charlestown earlier that year in quest for fresh water. Their settlement was initially limited to the Shawmut Peninsula, at that time surrounded by the Massachusetts Bay and Charles River and connected to the mainland by a narrow isthmus. The peninsula is thought to have been inhabited as early as 5000 BC in 1629. The Massachusetts Bay Colony's first governor, John Winthrop, led the signing of the Cambridge Agreement, a key founding document of the city. Puritan ethics and their focus on education influenced its early history. America's first public school, Boston Latin School, was founded in Boston in 1635. Over the next 130 years, the city participated in four French and Indian wars, until the British defeated the French and their Indian allies in North America. Boston was the largest town in British America until Philadelphia grew larger in the mid-18th century. Boston's oceanfront location made it a lively port, and the city primarily engaged in shipping and fishing during its colonial days. However, Boston stagnated in the decades prior to the Revolution. By the mid-18th century, New York City and Philadelphia surpassed Boston in wealth. 
Boston encountered financial difficulties even as other cities in New England grew rapidly. Revolution and the Siege of Boston Many of the crucial events of the American Revolution occurred in or near Boston. Boston's penchant for mob action along with the colonists' growing distrust in Britain fostered a revolutionary spirit in the city. When the British government passed the Stamp Act in 1765, a Boston mob ravaged the homes of Andrew Oliver, the official tasked with enforcing the act, and Thomas Hutchinson, then the Lieutenant Governor of Massachusetts. The British sent two regiments to Boston in 1768 in an attempt to quell the angry colonists. This did not sit well with the colonists. In 1770, during the Boston Massacre, the army killed several people in response to a mob in Boston. The colonists compelled the British to withdraw their troops. The event was widely publicized and fueled a revolutionary movement in America. In 1773, Britain passed the Tea Act. Many of the colonists saw the act as an attempt to force them to accept the taxes established by the Townsend Acts. The act prompted the Boston Tea Party, where a group of rebels threw an entire shipment of tea sent by the British East India Company into Boston Harbor. The Boston Tea Party was a key event leading up to the revolution, as the British government responded furiously with the intolerable acts, demanding compensation for the lost tea from the rebels. This angered the colonists further and led to the American Revolutionary War. The war began in the area surrounding Boston with the battles of Lexington and Concord. Boston itself was besieged for almost a year during the Siege of Boston, which began on April 19, 1775. The New England militia impeded the movement of the British Army. William Howe, 5th Viscount Howe, then the commander-in-chief of the British forces in North America, led the British Army in the siege. On June 17, the British captured the Charlestown Peninsula in Boston, during the Battle of Bunker Hill. The British Army outnumbered the militia stationed there, but it was a Pyrrhic victory for the British because their army suffered devastating casualties. It was also a testament to the power and courage of the militia, as their stubborn defending made it difficult for the British to capture Charlestown without losing many troops. Several weeks later, George Washington took over the militia after the Continental Congress established the Continental Army to unify the revolutionary effort. Both sides faced difficulties and supply shortages in the siege, and the fighting was limited to small scale raids and skirmishes. On March 4, 1776, Washington commanded his army to fortify Dorchester Heights, an area of Boston. The army placed cannons there to repel a British invasion against their stake in Boston. Washington was confident the army could resist a small-scale invasion with their fortifications. Howe planned an invasion into Boston, but bad weather delayed their advance. Howe decided to withdraw, because the storm gave Washington's army more time to improve their fortifications. British troops evacuated Boston on March 17, which solidified the revolutionaries' control of the city. <laughs> Post-Revolution and the War of 1812 After the Revolution, Boston's long seafaring tradition helped make it one of the world's wealthiest international ports, with the slave trade, rum, fish, salt, and tobacco being particularly important. Boston's harbor activity was significantly curtailed by the Embargo Act of 1807 adopted during the Napoleonic Wars and the War of 1812. Foreign trade returned after these hostilities, but Boston's merchants had found alternatives for their capital investments in the interim. Manufacturing became an important component of the city's economy, and the city's industrial manufacturing overtook international trade in economic importance by the mid-19th century. Boston remained one of the nation's largest manufacturing centers until the early 20th century, and was known for its garment production and leather goods industries. 
A network of small rivers bordering the city and connecting it to the surrounding region facilitated shipment of goods and led to a proliferation of mills and factories. Later, a dense network of railroads furthered the region's industry and commerce. During this period, Boston flourished culturally, as well, admired for its rarefied literary life and generous artistic patronage, with members of old Boston families—eventually dubbed Boston Brahmins Coming to be regarded as the nation's social and cultural elites, Boston was an early port of the Atlantic triangular slave trade in the New England colonies, but was soon overtaken by Salem, Massachusetts and Newport, Rhode Island. Boston eventually became a center of the abolitionist movement. The city reacted strongly to the Fugitive Slave Act of 1850, contributing to President Franklin Pierce's attempt to make an example of Boston after the Anthony Burns fugitive slave case. In 1822, the citizens of Boston voted to change the official name from the Town of Boston to the City of Boston, and on March 19, 1822, the people of Boston accepted the charter incorporating the city. At the time Boston was chartered as a city, the population was about 46,226, while the area of the city was only 4.7 square miles, 12 square kilometers. Topic: 19th century. In the 1820s, Boston's population grew rapidly, and the city's ethnic composition changed dramatically with the first wave of European immigrants. Irish immigrants dominated the first wave of newcomers during this period, especially following the Irish potato famine. By 1850, about 35,000 Irish lived in Boston. In the latter half of the 19th century, the city saw increasing numbers of Irish, Germans, Lebanese, Syrians, French Canadians, and Russian and Polish Jews settling in the city. By the end of the 19th century, Boston's core neighborhoods had become enclaves of ethnically distinct immigrants. Italians inhabited the North End, Irish dominated South Boston and Charlestown, and Russian Jews lived in the West End. Irish and Italian immigrants brought with them Roman Catholicism. Currently, Catholics make up Boston's largest religious community, and the Irish have played a major role in Boston politics since the early 20th century. Prominent figures include the Kennedys, Tip O'Neill, and John F. Fitzgerald. Between 1631 and 1890, the city tripled its area through land reclamation by filling in marshes, mud flats, and gaps between wharves along the waterfront. The largest reclamation efforts took place during the 19th century. Beginning in 1807, the crown of Beacon Hill was used to fill in a 50-acre, 20 hectares mill pond that later became the Haymarket Square area. The present-day State House sits atop this lowered Beacon Hill. Reclamation projects in the middle of the century created significant parts of the South End, the West End, the Financial District, and Chinatown. After the Great Boston Fire of 1872, workers used building rubble as landfill along the downtown waterfront. During the mid to late 19th century, workers filled almost 600 acres square kilometers of brackish Charles River marshlands west of Boston Common with gravel brought by rail from the hills of Needham Heights. The city annexed the adjacent towns of South Boston 1804, East Boston 1836, Roxbury 1868, Dorchester including present-day Mattapan and a portion of South Boston 1870, Brighton including present-day Alston 1874, West Roxbury including present-day Jamaica Plain and Rosslindale 1874, Charlestown 1874, and Hyde Park 1912. Other proposals were unsuccessful for the annexation of Brookline, Cambridge, and Chelsea. Topic: 20th century. Boston went into decline by the early to mid 20th century as factories became old and obsolete and businesses moved out of the region for cheaper labor elsewhere. Boston responded by initiating various urban renewal projects, under the direction of the Boston Redevelopment Authority established in 1957. 
In 1958, Brahe initiated a project to improve the historic West End neighborhood. Extensive demolition was met with strong public opposition. The BRA subsequently re evaluated its approach to urban renewal in its future projects, including the construction of the Government Center. In 1965, the Columbia Point Health Center opened in the Dorchester neighborhood, the first community health center in the United States. It mostly served the massive Columbia Point public housing complex adjoining it, which was built in 1953. The health center is still in operation and was rededicated in 1990 as the Geiger Gibson Community Health Center. The Columbia Point complex itself was redeveloped and revitalized from 1984 to 1990 into a mixed income residential development called Harbor Point Apartments. By the 1970s, the city's economy had recovered after 30 years of economic downturn. A large number of high rises were constructed in the financial district and in Boston's Back Bay during this period. This boom continued into the mid 1980s and resumed after a few pauses. Hospitals such as Massachusetts General Hospital, Beth Israel Deaconess Medical Center, and Brigham and Women's Hospital lead the nation in medical innovation and patient care. Schools such as Boston College, Boston University, the Harvard Medical School, Tufts University School of Medicine, Northeastern University, Massachusetts College of Art and Design, Wentworth Institute of Technology, Berkeley College of Music, and the Boston Conservatory attract students to the area. Nevertheless, the city experienced conflict starting in 1974 over desegregation busing, which resulted in unrest and violence around public schools throughout the mid-1970s. Topic: 21st century. Boston is an intellectual, technological, and political center but has lost some important regional institutions, including the loss to mergers and acquisitions of local financial institutions such as Fleet Boston Financial, which was acquired by Charlotte-based Bank of America in 2004. Boston-based department stores Jordan Marsh and Files have both merged into the Cincinnati-based Macy's. The 1993 acquisition of the Boston Globe by the New York Times was reversed in 2013 when it was resold to Boston businessman John W. Henry. In 2016, it was announced General Electric would be moving its corporate headquarters from Connecticut to the Innovation District in South Boston, joining many other companies in this rapidly developing neighborhood. Boston has experienced gentrification in the latter half of the 20th century, with housing prices increasing sharply since the 1990s. Living expenses have risen. Boston has one of the highest costs of living in the United States and was ranked the 129th most expensive major city in the world in a 2011 survey of 214 cities. Despite cost of living issues, Boston ranks high on livability ratings, ranking 36th worldwide in quality of living in 2011 in a survey of 221 major cities. On April 15, 2013, two Chechen Islamist brothers detonated a pair of bombs near the finish line of the Boston Marathon, killing three people and injuring roughly 264. In 2016, Boston briefly shouldered a bid as the U.S. applicant for the 2024 Summer Olympics. The bid was supported by the mayor and a coalition of business leaders and local philanthropists, but was eventually dropped due to public opposition. The USOC then selected Los Angeles to be the American candidate with Los Angeles ultimately securing the right to host the 2028 Summer Olympics. <laughs> Geography. Boston has an area of 89.63 square miles, 232.1 square kilometers, 48.4 square miles, 125.4 square kilometers, 54% of land and 41.2 square miles, 106.7 square kilometers, 46% of water. The city's official elevation, as measured at Logan International Airport, is 19 feet 5.8 meters above sea level. 
The highest point in Boston is Bellevue Hill at 330 feet 100 meters above sea level, and the lowest point is at sea level. Situated onshore of the Atlantic Ocean, Boston is the only state capital in the contiguous United States with an oceanic shoreline. The geographical center of Boston is in Roxbury. Due north of the center we find the South End. This is not to be confused with South Boston which lies directly east from the South End. North of South Boston is East Boston and southwest of East Boston is the North End. Boston is surrounded by the Greater Boston region and is contiguously bordered by the cities and towns of Winthrop, Revere, Chelsea, Everett, Somerville, Cambridge, Watertown, Newton, Brookline, Needham, Dedham, Canton, Milton, and Quincy. The Charles River separates Boston from Watertown and the majority of Cambridge, and the mass of Boston from its own Charlestown neighborhood. To the east lie Boston Harbor and the Boston Harbor Islands National Recreation Area which includes part of the city's territory, specifically Calf Island, Gallops Island, Great Brewster Island, Green Island, Little Brewster Island, Little Calf Island, Long Island, Lovells Island, Middle Brewster Island, Nix's Mate, Outer Brewster Island, Rainsford Island, Shag Rocks, Spectacle Island, The Graves, and Thompson Island. The Neponset River forms the boundary between Boston's southern neighborhoods and the city of Quincy and the town of Milton. The Mystic River separates Charlestown from Chelsea and Everett, and Chelsea Creek and Boston Harbor separate East Boston from downtown, the North End, and the seaport. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Cityscapes. Topic: Neighborhoods. Boston is sometimes called a city of neighborhoods because of the profusion of diverse subsections. The city government's Office of Neighborhood Services has officially designated 23 neighborhoods. More than two thirds of Inner Boston's modern land area did not exist when the city was founded. Instead, it was created via the gradual filling in of the surrounding tidal areas over the centuries, with earth from leveling or lowering Boston's three original hills the Trim Mountain, after which Tremont Street is named and with gravel brought by train from Needham to fill the Back Bay, downtown and its immediate surroundings consist largely of low-rise masonry buildings often federal style and Greek revival interspersed with modern high-rises, in the Financial District, Government Center, and South Boston. Back Bay includes many prominent landmarks, such as the Boston Public Library, Christian Science Center, Copley Square, Newbury Street, and New England's two tallest buildings, the John Hancock Tower and the Prudential Center. Near the John Hancock Tower is the old John Hancock Building with its prominent illuminated beacon, the color of which forecasts the weather. Smaller commercial areas are interspersed among areas of single-family homes and wooden, brick multi-family row houses. The South End Historic District is the largest surviving contiguous Victorian-era neighborhood in the U.S. The geography of downtown and South Boston was particularly affected by the Central Artery – Tunnel Project known unofficially as the Big Dig which removed the unsightly elevated central artery and incorporated new green spaces and open areas. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Climate. Under the Köppen climate classification, depending on the isotherm used, Boston has either a humid subtropical climate, Köppen CFA, under the -3 C isotherm or a humid continental climate under the 0 C isotherm, Köppen DFA. The city is best described as being in a transitional zone between the two climates. Summers are typically warm and humid, while winters are cold and stormy with occasional periods of heavy snow. Spring and fall are usually cool to mild, with varying conditions dependent on wind direction and jet stream positioning. Prevailing wind patterns that blow offshore minimize the influence of the Atlantic Ocean. However, in winter areas near the immediate coast will often see more rain than snow as warm air is drawn off the Atlantic at times. 
The city lies at the transition between USDA plant hardiness zones 6B most of the city and 7A downtown, South Boston, and East Boston neighborhoods. The hottest month is July, with a mean temperature of 73.4 degrees Fahrenheit (23.0 degrees Celsius). The coldest month is January, with a mean of 29.0 degrees Fahrenheit minus 1.7 degrees Celsius. Periods exceeding 90 degrees Fahrenheit 32 degrees Celsius in summer and below freezing in winter are not uncommon but rarely extended, with about 13 and 25 days per year seeing each, respectively. The most recent sub-0 degrees Fahrenheit -18 degrees Celsius reading occurred on January 7, 2018, when the temperature dipped down to -2 degrees Fahrenheit -19 degrees Celsius. In addition, several decades may pass between 100 degrees Fahrenheit (38 degrees Celsius) readings, with the most recent such occurrence on July 22, 2011, when the temperature reached 103 degrees Fahrenheit (39 degrees Celsius). The city's average window for freezing temperatures is November 9 through April 5. Official temperature records have ranged from minus 18 degrees Fahrenheit minus 28 degrees Celsius on February 9, 1934, up to 104 degrees Fahrenheit 40 degrees Celsius on July 4, 1911. The record cold daily maximum is 2 degrees Fahrenheit minus 17 degrees Celsius on December 30, 1917 while, conversely, the record warm daily minimum is 83 degrees Fahrenheit 28 degrees Celsius on August 2, 1975. Boston's coastal location on the North Atlantic moderates its temperature but makes the city very prone to nor'easter weather systems that can produce much snow and rain. The city averages 43.8 inches mm of precipitation a year, with 43.8 inches cm of snowfall per season. Snowfall increases dramatically as one goes inland away from the city especially north and west of the city—away from the moderating influence of the ocean. Most snowfall occurs from mid-November through early April, and snow is rare in May and October. There is also high year-to-year -year variability in snowfall, for instance, the winter of 2011-12 saw only 9.3 in 23.6 cm of accumulating snow, but the previous winter, the corresponding figure was 81.0 in 2.06 m. Fog is fairly common, particularly in spring and early summer. Due to its location along the North Atlantic, the city often receives sea breezes, especially in the late spring, when water temperatures are still quite cold and temperatures at the coast can be more than 20 degrees Fahrenheit 11 degrees Celsius colder than a few miles inland, sometimes dropping by that amount near midday. Thunderstorms occur from May to September, that are occasionally severe with large hail, damaging winds and heavy downpours. Although downtown Boston has never been struck by a violent tornado, the city itself has experienced many tornado warnings. Damaging storms are more common to areas north, west, and northwest of the city. Boston has a relatively sunny climate for a coastal city at its latitude, averaging over 2,600 hours of sunshine per annum. Demographics In 2016, Boston was estimated to have 673,184 residents a density of 13,841 persons per square mile, or 5,344 per square kilometers living in 272,481 housing units—a 9% population increase over 2010. The city is the third most densely populated large U.S. city of over half a million residents. Some 1.2 million persons may be within Boston's boundaries during work hours, and as many as 2 million during special events. 
This fluctuation of people is caused by hundreds of thousands of suburban residents who travel to the city for work, education, health care, and special events. In the city, the population was spread out with 21.9% at age 19 and under, 14.3% from 20 to 24, 33.2% from 25 to 44, 20.4% from 45 to 64, and 10.1% who were 65 years of age or older. The median age was 30.8 years. For every 100 females, there were 92.0 males. For every 100 females age 18 and over, there were 89.9 males. There were 252,699 households, of which 20.4% had children under the age of 18 living in them, 25.5% were married couples living together, 16.3% had a female householder with no husband present, and 54.0% were non-families. 37.1% of all households were made up of individuals and 9.0% had someone living alone who was 65 years of age or older. The average household size was 2.26 and the average family size was 3.08. Boston has one of the largest LGBT populations in the United States. The median household income in Boston was $51,739, while the median income for a family was $61,035. Full-time year-round male workers had a median income of $52,544 versus $46,540 for full-time year-round female workers. The per capita income for the city was $33,158. 21.4% of the population and 16.0% of families are below the poverty line. Of the total population, 28.8% of those under the age of 18 and 20.4% of those 65 and older were living below the poverty line. In 1950, whites represented 94.7% of Boston's population. From the 1950s to the end of the 20th century, the proportion of non Hispanic whites in the city declined. In 2000, non-Hispanic whites made up 49.5% of the city's population, making the city majority minority for the first time. However, in the 21st century, the city has experienced significant gentrification, during which affluent whites have moved into formerly non-white areas. In 2006, the U.S. Census Bureau estimated non-Hispanic whites again formed a slight majority but as of 2010, in part due to the housing crash, as well as increased efforts to make more affordable housing more available, the non-white population has rebounded. This may also have to do with increased Latin American and Asian populations and more clarity surrounding U.S. Census statistics, which indicate a non-Hispanic white population of 47% some reports give slightly lower figures. People of Irish descent form the largest single ethnic group in the city, making up 15.8% of the population, followed by Italians, accounting for 8.3% of the population. People of West Indian and Caribbean ancestry are another sizable group, at 6.0%, about half of whom are of Haitian ancestry. Over 27,000 Chinese Americans made their home in Boston City proper in 2013, and the city hosts a growing Chinatown accommodating heavily traveled Chinese-owned bus lines to and from Chinatown, Manhattan in New York City. Some neighborhoods, such as Dorchester, have received an influx of people of Vietnamese ancestry in recent decades. Neighborhoods such as Jamaica Plain and Rosslindale have experienced a growing number of Dominican Americans. The city and greater area also has a growing immigrant population of South Asians, including the 10th largest Indian population in the country. The city, especially the East Boston neighborhood, has a significant Hispanic population. 
In 2010, Hispanics in Boston were mostly of Puerto Rican, 30,506 or 4.9% of total city population, Dominican, 25,648 or 4.2% of total city population, Salvadoran, 10,850 or 1.8% of city population, Colombian, 6,649 or 1.1% of total city population, Mexican, 5 1961 or 1.0% 1 of total city population and Guatemalan 4451 or 0.7% of total city population ethnic origin Hispanics of all national origins totaled 107917 in 2010 in Greater Boston, these numbers grew significantly, with Puerto Ricans numbering 175,000 plus, Dominicans 95,000 plus, Salvadorans 40,000 plus, Guatemalans 31,000 plus, Mexicans 25,000 plus, and Colombians numbering 22,000 plus. Topic: Ancestry. According to the 2012-2016 American Community Survey five-year estimates, the largest ancestry groups in Boston, Massachusetts are <laughs> Demographic breakdown by zip code <laughs> Income Data is from the 2008 to 2012 American Community Survey five-year estimates. Topic: Religion. According to a 2014 study by the Pew Research Center, 57% of the population of the city identified themselves as Christians, with 25% attending a variety of Protestant churches and 29% professing Roman Catholic beliefs, 33% claim no religious affiliation, while the remaining 10% are made up of adherents of Judaism, Buddhism, Islam, Hinduism and other faiths. As of 2010 the Catholic Church had the highest number of adherents as a single denomination in the Boston-Cambridge-Newton metro area, with more than 2 million members and 339 churches, followed by the Episcopal Church with 58,000 adherents in 160 churches. The United Church of Christ had 55,000 members and 213 churches. The UCC is the successor of the city's Puritan religious traditions. Old South Church in Boston is one of the oldest congregations in the United States. It was organized in 1669 by dissenters from the First Church in Boston 1630. Past members include Samuel Adams, William Dawes, Benjamin Franklin, Samuel Sewell, and Phyllis Wheatley. In 1773, Adams gave the signals from the Old South Meeting House that started the Boston Tea Party. The city has a Jewish population with an estimated 248,000 Jews within the Boston metro area. More than half of Jewish households in the Greater Boston area reside in the city itself, Brookline, Newton, Cambridge, Somerville, or adjacent towns. Topic. Economy A global city, Boston is placed among the top 30 most economically powerful cities in the world. Encompassing $363 billion, the Greater Boston Metropolitan Area has the sixth largest economy in the country and twelfth largest in the world. Boston's colleges and universities exert a significant impact on the regional economy. Boston attracts more than 350,000 college students from around the world, who contribute more than $4.8 billion annually to the city's economy. The area's schools are major employers and attract industries to the city and surrounding region. The city is home to a number of technology companies and is a hub for biotechnology, with the Milken Institute rating Boston as the top life sciences cluster in the country. 
Boston receives the highest absolute amount of annual funding from the National Institutes of Health of all cities in the United States. The city is considered highly innovative for a variety of reasons, including the presence of academia, access to venture capital, and the presence of many high tech companies. The Route 128 corridor and Greater Boston continue to be a major center for venture capital investment, and high technology remains an important sector. Tourism also composes a large part of Boston's economy, with 21.2 million domestic and international visitors spending $8.3 billion in 2011. Excluding visitors from Canada and Mexico, over 1.4 million international tourists visited Boston in 2014, with those from China and the United Kingdom leading the list. Boston's status as a state capital as well as the regional home of federal agencies has rendered law and government to be another major component of the city's economy. The city is a major seaport along the east coast of the United States and the oldest continuously operated industrial and fishing port in the Western Hemisphere. The financial services industry is important to Boston, especially involving mutual funds and insurance. In the 2018 Global Financial Centers Index, Boston was ranked as having the 13th most competitive financial center in the world and the second most competitive in the United States. Boston-based Fidelity Investments helped popularize the mutual fund in the 1980s and has made Boston one of the top financial centers in the United States. The city is home to the headquarters of Santander Bank, and Boston is a center for venture capital firms. State Street Corporation, which specializes in asset management and custody services, is based in the city. Boston is a printing and publishing center. Horton Mifflin Harcourt is headquartered within the city, along with Bedford Street. Martins Press and Beacon Press. Pearson PLC publishing units also employ several hundred people in Boston. The city is home to three major convention centers. The Heinz Convention Center in the Back Bay, and the Seaport World Trade Center and Boston Convention and Exhibition Center on the South Boston waterfront. The General Electric Corporation announced in January 2016 its decision to move the company's global headquarters to the Seaport District in Boston, from Fairfield, Connecticut, citing factors including Boston's preeminence in the realm of higher education. Boston is home to the headquarters of several major athletic and footwear companies including Converse, New Balance, and Reebok. Rockport, Puma and Wolverine Worldwide, Inc. headquarters or regional offices are just outside the city. In 2019, a yearly ranking of time wasted in traffic listed Boston area drivers lost approximately 164 hours a year in lost productivity due to the area's traffic congestion. This amounted to $2,300 a year per driver in costs. Education <inaudible> 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 Primary and secondary education The Boston Public Schools enroll 57,000 students attending 145 schools, including the renowned Boston Latin Academy, John D. O'Brien School of Math and Science, and Boston Latin School. The Boston Latin School was established in 1635 and is the oldest public high school in the U.S. Boston also operates the United States' second oldest public high school and its oldest public elementary school. The system's students are 40% Hispanic or Latino, 35% Black or African American, 13% White, and 9% Asian. There are private, parochial, and charter schools as well, and approximately 3,300 minority students attend participating suburban schools through the Metropolitan Educational Opportunity Council. <laughs> <laughs> Higher education Some of the most renowned and highly ranked universities in the world are near Boston. Three universities with a major presence in the city, Harvard, MIT, and Tufts, are just outside of Boston in the cities of Cambridge and Somerville, known as the Brainpower Triangle. 
Harvard is the nation's oldest institute of higher education and is centered across the Charles River in Cambridge, though the majority of its land holdings and a substantial amount of its educational activities are in Boston. Its business, medical, dental, and public health schools are in Boston's Alston and Longwood neighborhoods, and Harvard plans to expand into Alston. The Massachusetts Institute of Technology (MIT) originated in Boston and was long known as Boston Tech. It moved across the river to Cambridge in 1916. Tufts University's main campus is north of the city in Somerville and Medford, though it locates its medical and dental schools in Boston's Chinatown at Tufts Medical Center, a 451-bed academic medical institution that is home to a full-service hospital for adults and the floating hospital for children. Four members of the Association of American Universities are in Greater Boston more than any other metropolitan area, Harvard University, the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, Boston University, and Brandeis University. Furthermore, Greater Boston contains seven highest research activity R1 universities as per the Carnegie classification. This includes, in addition to the aforementioned four, Boston College, Northeastern University, and Tufts University. This is, by a large margin, the highest concentration of such institutions in a single metropolitan area. Hospitals, universities, and research institutions in Greater Boston received more than $1.77 billion in National Institutes of Health grants in 2013, more money than any other American metropolitan area. Greater Boston has more than 100 colleges and universities, with 250,000 students enrolled in Boston and Cambridge alone. The city's largest private universities include Boston University also the city's fourth largest employer, with its main campus along Commonwealth Avenue and a medical campus in the South End, Northeastern University in the Fenway area, Suffolk University near Beacon Hill, which includes law school and business school, and Boston College, which straddles the Boston-Brighton-Newton border. Boston's only public university is the University of Massachusetts Boston on Columbia Point in Dorchester. Roxbury Community College and Bunker Hill Community College are the city's two public community colleges. Altogether, Boston's colleges and universities employ more than 42,600 people, accounting for nearly 7% of the city's workforce. Smaller private colleges include Babson College, Bentley University, Boston Architectural College, Emanuel College, Fisher College, MGH Institute of Health Professions, Massachusetts College of Pharmacy and Health Sciences, Simmons College, Wellesley College, Wheelock College, Wentworth Institute of Technology, New England School of Law originally established as America's first all-female law school, and Emerson College, Metropolitan Boston is home to several conservatories and art schools, including Lesley University College of Art and Design, Massachusetts College of Art, the School of the Museum of Fine Arts, New England Institute of Art, New England School of Art and Design, Suffolk University, Longy School of Music of Bard College, and the New England Conservatory, the oldest independent conservatory in the United States. Other conservatories include the Boston Conservatory and Berklee College of Music, which has made Boston an important city for jazz music. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Public Safety. Like many major American cities, Boston has seen a great reduction in violent crime since the early 1990s. Boston's low crime rate since the 1990s has been credited to the Boston Police Department's collaboration with neighborhood groups and church parishes to prevent youths from joining gangs, as well as involvement from the United States Attorney and District Attorney's offices. This helped lead in part to what has been touted as the Boston Miracle. Murders in the city dropped from 152 in 1990 for a murder rate of 26.5 per 100,000 people to just 31 not one of them a juvenile in 1999 for a murder rate of 5.26 per 100,000 in 2008 there were 62 reported homicides through December 30, 2016, major crime was down 7% and there were 46 homicides compared to 40 in 2015.
Topic: Culture. Boston shares many cultural roots with Greater New England, including a dialect of the non-Rhotic Eastern New England accent known as the Boston accent and a regional cuisine with a large emphasis on seafood, salt, and dairy products. Boston also has its own collection of neologisms known as Boston slang and sardonic humor. In the early 1800s, William Tudor wrote that Boston was perhaps the most perfect and certainly the best regulated democracy that ever existed. There is something so impossible in the immortal fame of Athens, that the very name makes everything modern shrink from comparison, but since the days of that glorious city I know of none that has approached so near in some points, distant as it may still be from that illustrious model, from this, Boston has been called the Athens of America also a nickname of Philadelphia for its literary culture, earning a reputation as the intellectual capital of the United States. In the 19th century, Ralph Waldo Emerson, Henry David Thoreau, Nathaniel Hawthorne, Margaret Fuller, James Russell Lowell, and Henry Wadsworth Longfellow wrote in Boston. Some consider the old corner bookstore to be the cradle of American literature, the place where these writers met and where the Atlantic Monthly was first published. In 1852, the Boston Public Library was founded as the first free library in the United States. Boston's literary culture continues today thanks to the city's many universities and the Boston Book Festival. Music is afforded a high degree of civic support in Boston. The Boston Symphony Orchestra is one of the Big Five, a group of the greatest American orchestras, and the classical music magazine Gramophone called it one of the world's best orchestras. Symphony Hall west of Back Bay is home to the Boston Symphony Orchestra and the related Boston Youth Symphony Orchestra, which is the largest youth orchestra in the nation, and to the Boston Pops Orchestra. The British newspaper The Guardian called Boston Symphony Hall one of the top venues for classical music in the world," adding, "...Symphony Hall in Boston was where science became an essential part of concert hall design." Other concerts are held at the New England Conservatory's Jordan Hall. The Boston Ballet performs at the Boston Opera House. Other performing arts organizations in the city include the Boston Lyric Opera Company, Opera Boston, Boston Baroque, the first permanent Baroque orchestra in the U.S., and the Hundle and Hayden Society, one of the oldest choral companies in the United States. The city is a center for contemporary classical music with a number of performing groups, several of which are associated with the city's conservatories and universities. These include the Boston Modern Orchestra Project and Boston Music of Eva. Several theaters are in or near the theater district south of Boston Common, including the Cutler Majestic Theater, City Performing Arts Center, the Colonial Theater, and the Orpheum Theater. There are several major annual events, such as First Night which occurs on New Year's Eve, the Boston Early Music Festival, the annual Boston Arts Festival at Christopher Columbus Waterfront Park, the annual Boston Gay Pride Parade and Festival held in June, and Italian summer feasts in the North End honoring Catholic saints. The city is the site of several events during the 4th of July period. They include the week-long Harbourfest festivities and a Boston Pops concert accompanied by fireworks on the banks of the Charles River. Several historic sites relating to the American Revolution period are preserved as part of the Boston National Historical Park because of the city's prominent role. Many are found along the Freedom Trail, which is marked by a red line of bricks embedded in the ground. The city is also home to several art museums and galleries, including the Museum of Fine Arts and the Isabella Stewart Gardner Museum. The Institute of Contemporary Art is housed in a contemporary building designed by Dilla Scofidio plus Renfro in the Seaport District. Boston's South End Art and Design District and Newbury Street are both art gallery destinations. Columbia Point is the location of the University of Massachusetts Boston, the Edward M. Kennedy Institute for the United States Senate, the John F. Kennedy Presidential Library and Museum, and the Massachusetts Archives and Commonwealth Museum. 
The Boston Athenaeum, one of the oldest independent libraries in the United States, Boston Children's Museum, Bull and Finch Pub, whose building is known from the television show Cheers, Museum of Science, and the New England Aquarium are within the city. Boston has been a noted religious center from its earliest days. The Roman Catholic Archdiocese of Boston serves nearly 300 parishes and is based in the Cathedral of the Holy Cross 1875 in the South End, while the Episcopal Diocese of Massachusetts serves just under 200 congregations, with the Cathedral Church of St. Paul 1819 as its Episcopal seat. Unitarian Universalism has its headquarters on Beacon Hill. The Christian scientists are headquartered in Back Bay at the Mother Church 1894. The oldest church in Boston is First Church in Boston, founded in 1630. King's Chapel was the city's first Anglican church, founded in 1686 and converted to Unitarianism in 1785. Other churches include Christ Church, better known as Old North Church, 1723, the oldest church building in the city, Trinity Church, 1733, Park Street Church, 1809, Old South Church, 1874, Jubilee Christian Church, and Basilica and Shrine of Our Lady of Perpetual Help on Mission Hill, 1878. Topic: Environment. Pollution control Air quality in Boston is generally very good. Between 2004 to 2013, there were only four days in which the air was unhealthy for the general public. According to the EPA, some of the cleaner energy facilities in Boston include the Alston Green District, with three ecologically compatible housing facilities. Boston is also breaking ground on multiple green affordable housing facilities to help reduce the carbon impact of the city while simultaneously making these initiatives financially available to a greater population. Boston's climate plan is updated every three years and was most recently modified in 2013. This legislature includes the Building Energy Reporting and Disclosure Ordinance, which requires the city's larger buildings to disclose their yearly energy and water use statistics and to partake in an energy assessment every five years. These statistics are made public by the city, thereby increasing incentives for buildings to be more environmentally conscious. Mayor Thomas Menino introduced the Renew Boston Whole Building Incentive, which reduces the cost of living in buildings that are deemed energy efficient. This gives people an opportunity to find housing in neighborhoods that support the environment. The ultimate goal of this initiative is to enlist 500 Bostonians to participate in a free, in-home energy assessment. <laughs> Water purity and availability Many older buildings in certain areas of Boston are supported by wooden piles driven into the area's fill. These piles remain sound if submerged in water, but are subject to dry rot if exposed to air for long periods. Ground water levels have been dropping in many areas of the city, due in part to an increase in the amount of rainwater discharged directly into sewers rather than absorbed by the ground. The Boston Groundwater Trust coordinates monitoring groundwater levels throughout the city via a network of public and private monitoring wells. However, Boston's drinking water supply from the Quabbin and Wachusett reservoirs is one of the very few in the country so pure as to satisfy the Federal Clean Water Act without filtration. Sports. Boston has teams in the four major North American professional sports leagues plus Major League Soccer, and has won 39 championships in these leagues, as of 2017. It is one of six cities along with Chicago, Detroit, Los Angeles, New York and Philadelphia to have won championships in all four major sports. It has been suggested that Boston is the new title town, USA. 
As the city's professional sports teams have won 12 championships since 2001, Patriots 2001, 2003, 2004, 2014, 2016 and 2018, Red Sox 2004, 2007, 2013, and 2018, Celtics 2008, and Bruins 2011. This love of sports made Boston the United States Olympic Committee's choice to bid to hold the 2024 Summer Olympic Games, but the city cited financial concerns when it withdrew its bid on July 27, 2015. The Boston Red Sox, a founding member of the American League of Major League Baseball in 1901, play their home games at Fenway Park, near Kenmore Square in the city's Fenway section. Built in 1912, it is the oldest sports arena or stadium in active use in the United States among the four major professional American sports leagues, Major League Baseball, the National Football League, National Basketball Association, and the National Hockey League. Boston was the site of the first game of the first Modern World Series, in 1903. The series was played between the AL champion Boston Americans and the NI champion Pittsburgh Pirates. Persistent reports the team was known in 1903 as the Boston Pilgrims appear to be unfounded. Boston's first professional baseball team was the Red Stockings, one of the charter members of the National Association in 1871, and of the National League in 1876. The team played under that name until 1883, under the name Bean Eaters until 1911, and under the name Braves from 1912 until they moved to Milwaukee after the 1952 season. Since 1966 they have played in Atlanta as the Atlanta Braves. The TD Garden, formerly called the Fleet Center and built to replace the old, since demolished Boston Garden, is adjoined to North Station and is the home of two major league teams, the Boston Bruins of the National Hockey League and the Boston Celtics of the National Basketball Association. The arena seats 18,624 for basketball games and 17,565 for ice hockey games. The Bruins were the first American member of the National Hockey League and an original six franchise. The Boston Celtics were founding members of the Basketball Association of America, one of the two leagues that merged to form the NBA. The Celtics have the distinction of having won more championships than any other NBA team, with 17, while they have played in suburban Foxborough since 1971. The New England Patriots of the National Football League were founded in 1960 as the Boston Patriots, changing their name after relocating. The team won the Super Bowl after the 2001, 2003, 2004, 2014, 2016, and 2018 seasons. They share Gillette Stadium with the New England Revolution of Major League Soccer. The Boston Breakers of Women's Professional Soccer, which formed in 2009, play their home games at Dolboy Stadium in Somerville. The Boston Storm of the United Women's Lacrosse League was formed in 2015. The area's many colleges and universities are active in college athletics. Four NCAA Division I members play in the area. Boston College, Boston University, Harvard University, and Northeastern University. Of the four, only Boston College participates in college football at the highest level, the Football Bowl subdivision. Harvard participates in the second highest level, the Football Championship subdivision. The Boston Cannons of the MLL play at Harvard Stadium. One of the best-known sporting events in the city is the Boston Marathon, the 26.2-mile race which is the world's oldest annual marathon, run on Patriots Day in April. On April 15, 2013, two explosions killed three people and injured hundreds at the marathon. Another major annual event is the Head of the Charles Regatta, held in October. Topic. Parks and recreation Boston Common, near the Financial District and Beacon Hill, is the oldest public park in the United States. 
Along with the adjacent Boston Public Garden, it is part of the Emerald Necklace, a string of parks designed by Frederick Law Olmsted to encircle the city. The Emerald Necklace includes Jamaica Pond, Boston's largest body of freshwater, and Franklin Park, the city's largest park and home of the Franklin Park Zoo. Another major park is the Esplanade, along the banks of the Charles River. The Hatch Shell, an outdoor concert venue, is adjacent to the Charles River Esplanade. Other parks are scattered throughout the city, with major parks and beaches near Castle Island, in Charlestown, and along the Dorchester, South Boston, and East Boston shorelines. Boston's park system is well reputed nationally. In its 2013 Park Score ranking, the Trust for Public Land reported Boston was tied with Sacramento and San Francisco for having the third best park system among the 50 most populous U.S. cities. ParkScore ranks city park systems by a formula that analyzes the city's median park size, park acres as percent of city area, the percent of residents within a half mile of a park, spending of park services per resident, and the number of playgrounds per 10,000 residents. <laughs> Government and politics Boston has a strong mayor-council government system in which the mayor elected every fourth year has extensive executive power. Marty Walsh became mayor in January 2014, his predecessor Thomas Menino's 20-year tenure having been the longest in the city's history. The Boston City Council is elected every two years, there are nine district seats, and four citywide, at-large, seats. The school committee, which oversees the Boston Public Schools, is appointed by the mayor. In addition to city government, numerous commissions and state authorities including the Massachusetts Department of Conservation and Recreation, the Boston Public Health Commission, the Massachusetts Water Resources Authority, MWRA, and the Massachusetts Port Authority, Massport play a role in the life of Bostonians. As the capital of Massachusetts, Boston plays a major role in state politics. The city has several federal facilities, including the John F. Kennedy Federal Office Building, the Thomas P. O'Neill Jr. Federal Building, the John W. McCormick Post Office and Courthouse, the Federal Reserve Bank of Boston, the United States Court of Appeals for the First Circuit, and the United States District Court for the District of Massachusetts. Both courts are housed in the John Joseph Moakley United States Courthouse. Federally, Boston is split between two congressional districts. The northern three-fourths of the city is in the 7th District, represented by Ayanna Presley. The southern fourth is in the 8th District, represented by Stephen Lynch. Both are Democrats, a Republican has not represented a significant portion of Boston in over a century. The state's senior member of the United States Senate is Democrat Elizabeth Warren, first elected in 2012. The state's junior member of the United States Senate is Democrat Ed Markey, who was elected in 2013 to succeed John Kerry after Kerry's appointment and confirmation as the United States Secretary of State. The city uses an algorithm created by the Walsh administration, called CityScore, to measure the effectiveness of various city services. This score is available on a public online dashboard and allows city managers in police, fire, schools, emergency management services, and 3-1-1 to take action and make adjustments in areas of concern. Media. Newspapers The Boston Globe and the Boston Herald are two of the city's major daily newspapers. The city is also served by other publications such as Boston Magazine, DigBoston, and the Boston edition of Metro. The Christian Science Monitor, headquartered in Boston, was formerly a worldwide daily newspaper but ended publication of daily print editions in 2009, switching to continuous online and weekly magazine format publications. 
The Boston Globe also releases a teen publication to the city's public high schools, called Teens in Print or TIP, which is written by the city's teens and delivered quarterly within the school year. The Improper Bostonian, a glossy lifestyle magazine, was published from 1991 through April 2019. The city's growing Latino population has given rise to a number of local and regional Spanish-language newspapers. These include El Planeta owned by the former publisher of the Boston Phoenix, El Mundo, and La Semana. Siglo 21, with its main offices in nearby Lawrence, is also widely distributed. There are a number of weekly newspapers dedicated to Boston neighborhoods. Among them is South Boston Online, founded in 1999, which appears in print and online, and covers events in South Boston and the Seaport District. Various LGBT publications serve the city's large LGBT lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender population such as the Rainbow Times, the only minority and lesbian-owned LGBT news magazine. Founded in 2006, the Rainbow Times is now based out of Boston, but serves all of New England. Topic radio and Television Boston is the largest broadcasting market in New England, with the radio market being the ninth largest in the United States. Several major AM stations include Talk Radio WRKO, Sports, Talk Station WEEI, and CBS Radio WBZ. WBZ AM broadcasts a news radio format and is a 50,000 watt clear channel station whose nighttime broadcasts are heard hundreds of miles from Boston. A variety of commercial FM radio formats serve the area, as do NPR stations WBUR and WGBH. College and university radio stations include WERS Emerson, WHRB Harvard, WUMB UMass Boston, WMBR MIT, WZBC Boston College, WMFO Tufts University, WBRS Brandeis University, WTBU Boston University, Campus and Web Only, WRBB Northeastern University, and WMLN FM Curry College. The Boston Television DMA, which also includes Manchester, New Hampshire, is the eighth largest in the United States. The city is served by stations representing every major American network, including WBZ TV4 and its sister station WSBK TV38, the former a CBS O and O, the latter a My Network TV affiliate, WCVB TV5 and its sister station WMUR TV9, both ABC, WHDH7 and its sister station WLVI56, the former an independent station, the latter a CW affiliate. WBTSLD8, a NBC O and O, and WFXT25, Fox. The city is also home to PBS member station WGBH TV2, a major producer of PBS programs, which also operates WGBX44. Spanish language television networks, including Azteca, WFXZCD24, Univision, WUNI27, Telemundo, WNEU60, a sister station to WBTSLD, and Unamas, WUTFDT66, have a presence in the region, with WNEU and WUTF serving as network owned and operated stations. Most of the area's television stations have their transmitters in nearby Needham and Newton along the Route 128 corridor. Six Boston television stations are carried by Canadian satellite television provider Bell TV and by cable television providers in Canada. <laughs> Film Films have been made in Boston since as early as 1903, and it continues to be both a popular setting and a popular site for filming location. <laughs> <laughs> Healthcare 
The Longwood Medical and Academic Area, adjacent to the Fenway District, is home to a large number of medical and research facilities, including Beth Israel Deaconess Medical Center, Brigham and Women's Hospital, Boston Children's Hospital, Dana-Farber Cancer Institute, Harvard Medical School, Jocelyn Diabetes Center, and the Massachusetts College of Pharmacy and Health Sciences. Prominent medical facilities, including Massachusetts General Hospital, Massachusetts Eye and Ear Infirmary and Spalding Rehabilitation Hospital are in the Beacon Hill area. St. Elizabeth's Medical Center is in Brighton Center of the city's Brighton neighborhood. New England Baptist Hospital is in Mission Hill. The city has Veterans Affairs Medical Centers in the Jamaica Plain and West Roxbury neighborhoods. The Boston Public Health Commission, an agency of the Massachusetts government, oversees health concerns for city residents. Boston EMS provides pre-hospital emergency medical services to residents and visitors. Many of Boston's medical facilities are associated with universities. The facilities in the Longwood Medical and Academic Area and in Massachusetts General Hospital are affiliated with Harvard Medical School. Tufts Medical Center, formerly Tufts New England Medical Center, in the southern portion of the Chinatown neighborhood, is affiliated with Tufts University School of Medicine. Boston Medical Center, in the South End neighborhood, is the primary teaching facility for the Boston University School of Medicine as well as the largest trauma center in the Boston area. It was formed by the merger of Boston University Hospital and Boston City Hospital, which was the first municipal hospital in the United States. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Infrastructure Transportation Logan Airport, in East Boston and operated by the Massachusetts Port Authority Massport, is Boston's principal airport. Nearby General Aviation Airports are Beverly Municipal Airport to the north, Hanscom Field to the west, and Norwood Memorial Airport to the south. Massport also operates several major facilities within the Port of Boston, including a cruise ship terminal and facilities to handle bulk and container cargo in South Boston, and other facilities in Charlestown and East Boston. Downtown Boston's streets grew organically, so they do not form a planned grid, unlike those in later developed Back Bay, East Boston, the South End, and South Boston. Boston is the eastern terminus of I-90, which in Massachusetts runs along the Massachusetts Turnpike. The elevated portion of the central artery, which carried most of the through traffic in downtown Boston, was replaced with the O'Neill Tunnel during the Big Dig, substantially completed in early 2006. The former and current central artery follow I-93 as the primary north-south artery from the city. Other major highways include US-1, which carries traffic to the North Shore and areas south of Boston, US-3, which connects to the northwestern suburbs, Massachusetts Route 3, which connects to the South Shore and Cape Cod, and Massachusetts Route 2 which connects to the western suburbs. Surrounding the city is Massachusetts Route 128, a partial beltway which has been largely subsumed by other routes mostly I-95 and I-93. With nearly a third of Bostonians using public transit for their commute to work, Boston has the fifth highest rate of public transit usage in the country. The city of Boston has a higher than average percentage of households without a car. In 2015, 35.4% of Boston households lacked a car, which decreased slightly to 33.8% in 2016. The national average was 8.7% in 2016. Boston averaged 0.94 cars per household in 2016, compared to a national average of 1.8. Boston's public transportation agency, the Massachusetts Bay Transportation Authority MBTA, operates the oldest underground rapid transit system in the Americas, and is the fourth busiest rapid transit system in the country, with 65.5 miles of track on four lines. The MBTA also operates busy bus and commuter rail networks, and water shuttles. 
Amtrak Intercity Rail to Boston is provided through four stations, South Station, North Station, Back Bay, and Route 128. South Station is a major intermodal transportation hub and is the terminus of Amtrak's Northeast Regional, Acela Express, and Lakeshore Limited routes, in addition to multiple MBTA services. Back Bay is also served by MBTA and those three Amtrak routes, while Route 128, in the southwestern suburbs of Boston, is only served by the Acela Express and Northeast Regional. Meanwhile, Amtrak's Downeaster to Brunswick terminates in North Station, and is the only Amtrak route to do so, nicknamed the Walking City. Boston hosts more pedestrian commuters than do other comparably populated cities. Owing to factors such as necessity, the compactness of the city and large student population, 13% of the population commutes by foot, making it the highest percentage of pedestrian commuters in the country out of the major American cities. In 2011, WalkScore ranked Boston the third most walkable city in the United States. As of 2015, WalkScore still ranks Boston as the third most walkable U.S. city, with a walk score of 80, a transit score of 75, and a bike score of 70. Between 1999 and 2006, Bicycling Magazine named Boston three times as one of the worst cities in the U.S. for cycling, regardless, it has one of the highest rates of bicycle commuting. In 2008, as a consequence of improvements made to bicycling conditions within the city, the same magazine put Boston on its Five for the Future list as a future best city for biking, and Boston's bicycle commuting percentage increased from 1% in 2000 to 2.1% in 2009. The bike share program called Hubway launched in late July 2011, logging more than 140,000 rides before the close of its first season. The neighboring municipalities of Cambridge, Somerville, and Brookline joined the Hubway program in the summer of 2012. In 2016, there are 1,461 bikes and 158 docking stations across the city. PBSC Urban Solutions provides bicycles and technology for this bike sharing system. In 2013, the Boston Cambridge Newton Metropolitan Statistical Area Boston MSA had the seventh lowest percentage of workers who commuted by private automobile, 75.6%, with 6.2% of area workers traveling via rail transit. During the period starting in 2006 and ending in 2013, the Boston MSA had the greatest percentage decline of workers commuting by automobile 3.3% among MSAs with more than a half million residents. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Twin towns and sister cities. The city of Boston has 11 official sister cities. Kyoto, Japan, 1959. Strasbourg, France, 1960. Barcelona, Spain, 1980. Hangzhou, People's Republic of China, 1982. Padua, Italy, 1983. Melbourne, Australia, 1985. Baira, Mozambique, 1990; Taipei, Taiwan, 1996; Sekondi Takaradi, Ghana, 2001; Belfast, Northern Ireland, 2014; Praia, Cape Verde, 2015. The City of Boston has formal partnership relationships through a Memorandum of Understanding (MOU) with four additional cities or regions. Guangzhou, People's Republic of China, 2014. Lyon, France, 2016. Copenhagen, Denmark, 2017. Mexico City, Mexico, 2017. Northwest of Ireland, Ireland and United Kingdom, 2017. In 1900, Americans from Boston bought a piece of land in Belleville, Western Cape, South Africa and developed it for residential purposes. In memory of their hometown, they called it Boston. Topic. See also 
Boston City League High School Athletic Conference Boston nicknames Boston Halifax relations List of diplomatic missions in Boston List of people from Boston List of tallest buildings in Boston National Register of Historic Places listings in Boston Boston bid for the 2024 Summer Olympics equals equals notes <laughs>